Hello everybody, this is Kirby over yonder, and about a month ago at the time of recording this, the YouTuber by the name of Big Joel released a video talking about bad film theory videos. And one of the theories that Joel talked about happened to be the theory that Remy, the main character from Ratatouille, is evil. Now, I don't disagree with Joel that this video isn't very good, since his points mostly just consist of things that the movie already considers to be bad, and it's really more of an opinion than an actual theory anyways. However, in his analysis of the theory, Joel makes a specific point that I do want to object to. Basically, one of the main points that MatPat brings up in his theory is that Remy constantly steals, and stealing is wrong. Joel obviously disagrees that this makes Remy evil, but also disagrees with the movie, stating that there's nothing wrong with Remy stealing food. Now, I'm gonna play the full clip just to make it completely clear what his point actually is, but before I do so, I'm just gonna make it clear that I'm not making this video as some sort of take that at Big Joel or anything dumb like that. I'm mostly just using this as an excuse to talk about one of the many themes present in Ratatouille, my favorite Pixar film and one of my favorite films in general. But with that said, here's the clip. To start off, stealing as a concept is extraordinarily important within the world of Ratatouille. It is strangely one of the film's key fixations, particularly when it comes to Remy's character arc. The fact that Remy steals and that it is bad comes up around four times in the movie. At the beginning, when Remy is stealing trash with his family, We're thieves, Dad. And what we're stealing is, let's face it, Garbage. When Remy first goes to Gusteau's, a fancy French restaurant, wants to eat some food and is told off by his own conscience. And I, I don't know where I am and I don't know when I'll find food again. Remy, I... you are better than that. You are a cook. A cook makes a thief. Thanks. When Remy prepares an omelette and is told by Linguini that he doesn't need to steal. Look, it's delicious, but don't steal. And at the end, in the all is lost moment, when Remy allows his rat family to pilfer Gusteau's restaurant and we're directed to understand this as very bad and selfish. So yeah, it is important. The movie wants us to know that Remy steals and that stealing is awful. A chef makes, a thief takes. So what do we make of all this? Do we think it makes Remy bad? Uh, well, I don't. I disagree with the movie. You know, rats in Ratatouille are not given moral consideration by the human world. The characters who see them shoot them on sight, chase after them, treat them like we sometimes treat rats in the real world. And that's fine, that makes sense, but it does lead to a kind of problem. Remy is here bound by a moral structure that he is not a subject within. Remy's right to life is not honored, yet the right of humans to their bits of food are somehow sacrosanct. It's puzzling, and we have to ask, is it wrong to steal food when you're very hungry from a group of people who are hostile to your very existence and would definitely kill you if they had the chance? And no, of course it's not. You gotta do what you gotta do to stay alive, right? Remy should steal as much as he and his family need and not feel bad about it at all, as far as I'm concerned. Moreover, this no-stealing policy, as strange as it is, isn't even applied coherently. In one notable scene, Remy is talking to Linguini when he eyes some cheese and this happens. Oh, you're hungry. Okay. You know, Linguini doesn't own that cheese, at least not to his knowledge, and so if it is wrong to steal, as the movie constantly indicates it is, then we'd expect this scene to implicitly judge Linguini's actions here. But it doesn't. It's a nice scene. Linguini is framed as an altruist. So how do we understand this? Uh, well, I think it's fairly simple, right? Rats in this movie are a kind of underclass whose every action in human society is a deviant one. They cannot take food for themselves in order to live. Rather, they must be given food by kindly humans. This is kind of an aside, but this whole stealing thing really produces a deep contradiction within the ideology of Ratatouille. On one hand, Ratatouille is about the importance of talent. It is about how the marginal members of society 
society can be great if we only give them a chance and not judge them so quickly. On the other hand, Ratatouille is about how the actions of the marginalized, as brilliant as they may be, are only virtuous and legitimate when they appease a set of moral structures invented by the powerful and deployed on the powerless. Remy can be a great chef, but only if he doesn't challenge the arbitrary and cruel ethics of his masters. Alright, so there's a lot to break down here. To start off, I will state that I do agree with Joel that from a moral standpoint, there's no reason why Remy shouldn't be allowed to steal food. As Joel states, Remy isn't bound by the same rules as the humans. I mean, hey, rats in real life steal food all the time, and the world in Ratatouille is almost exactly the same as our world. However, I don't think the film is criticizing Remy for stealing on a moral level. You see, Remy is a creative type at heart. His goal in the film is not just to become a great chef, but to create, to innovate, to bring something new to this world that only he can bring. The reason why Remy can't steal is because it actively goes against who he is as a character. Let's take a closer look at each of the four scenes that Joel brings up. I'm actually kind of confused about what this first scene has to do with stealing being bad. All that really happens here is Remy stating that he doesn't like stealing food, that he aspires to do something greater, to bring to this world instead of taking from it. As for the bread scene, well, let's dissect what Gusto says here. A cook makes, a thief takes. Again, there's nothing wrong with a rat stealing food, however, Remy isn't just a rat, he's a cook. He is an artist. There actually are other scenes in Ratatouille in which Remy does steal food without being berated for it. At the beginning of the film, Remy steals food from an old woman, but does so in order to experiment with different food combinations. He also attempts to steal saffron, but does so to add to the mushroom that he cooked. And a little bit later, Remy steals resources from Gusto's in order to improve the soup that Linguini ruined. You could argue that this doesn't really count because Remy is using Gusto's resources for a customer and not himself. However, Remy still is taking food without anyone's permission. If someone broke into your home and stole frosting just to make you a cake, well, I don't know about you, but I'd still consider that to be stealing. The point is, in all of these scenes, Remy is stealing food so that he can create something with it. Whereas in this scene, Remy is stealing food, but without actually doing anything with it. Think of it in terms of writing or any other form of creation. If you simply take other people's ideas and add nothing new to them, then you're not really creating anything. You're a bad artist, if you can even be considered one. However, if you take concepts and ideas that already exist, but add something new to them, then you're creating something entirely different. Oh, also, please watch Kid Cosmic. It's, it's really good. Okay, thanks. Bye. I admit, this scene here is a bit of an outlier, since Remy is using the stolen ingredients to create an omelet. However, the argument that I'd make here is that since Remy is living with Linguini, Linguini is responsible for what Remy does. So if Remy steals and Linguini is aware of it, then Linguini would be considered a thief too. Linguini also states that he'll buy Remy whatever he needs to cook. So unlike the previous scenes I mentioned, Remy stealing food just isn't necessary anymore. And as for this final scene, well, Remy is in the run here for a few different reasons. Obviously, there's the reason I already mentioned. Stealing isn't in Remy's nature, a chef makes, a thief takes, yada yada yada. However, Remy is also in the run here because he is actively betraying Linguini. At the beginning of the film, Remy agrees to help Linguini cook in exchange for a better and more fulfilling life. And throughout the course of the film, the two begin to trust and care about each other. So by allowing his rat brethren to steal the food, Remy is actively betraying Linguini's trust. Not to mention how unsanitary it is to have all those rats climbing all over the food. I mean, that's bound to give people diseases. And hey, it's not like the movie criticizes the other rats for stealing food. They're rats, they're just doing what they have to do to survive. 
Sure, Remy doesn't like stealing food, but that's just because he's a creator at heart. He's not like the other rats. Heck, after Linguini kicks them out, Remy even tells his rat gang that they can go back to stealing food once Linguini leaves because they don't have the same creative drive that he does. This also explains this scene here, why Linguini is allowed to steal food, but not Remy. Linguini isn't a cook like Remy is, he's more of a provider. So him taking food doesn't go against his character. As I've been saying throughout this video, Remy is an artist at heart. Sure, he could simply steal food and call it a day, but that would be taking the easy way out. He has this creative drive, he might as well use it. Ultimately, Ratatouille is a film about creation. It's about bringing something new to this world and challenging the status quo. It's a film that inspires me like no other, and for that reason, it's one of my favorite films of all time. And although I disagree with Joel's take here, I'm at least happy the film was able to inspire such an interesting discussion. Kirby, out.